Now good morning this is Kasturi Day uh, now I will discuss this uh, water chapter according to ICC syllabus class 8 uh, so I'll start with water as a universal solvent why it is called an universal solvent because it can dissolve almost all kind of solids liquids and even gases even it can dissolve the minute particles of the container in which it is kept we can see that when uh, we keep the water for some time for a longer time it will corrode the in internal uh, parts of the uh, this uh, water okay even it can corrode our internal body parts if it is taken in the pure form okay but the amount of substance which it dissolves that may vary or how fast it will dissolve is also in water that can also vary now the substances which dissolve in water rapidly they are known as soluble substances like sugar salt these are soluble substances okay then the substances which can dissolve very little or do not seem to dissolve in water they are insoluble substances like like sand okay the chalk these will not dissolve in water these are insoluble substances then the substance which dissolve is solute and the substance in which it is dissolved that is solvent solute is for example sugar solution the sugar is a solute and solvent is water and the homogeneous mixture that is formed uh, with the uh, solute and the solvent whose composition may vary that is known as a solution so solution is equal to solute plus solvent now solution made in water is an aqua solution or if a solution is not made in water that is it's a non aqua solution like alcohol carbon tetrachloride if it is the solvent then it is a non aqueous solution for example see sugar solution that requires solute as sugar and so uh, what uh, solvent as water so that's an aqua solution of sugar okay but if uh, something uh, does, does not dissolve in water but it will dissolve in alcohol or carbon tetrachloride then the solvent here is either alcohol or carbon tetrachloride then that, then uh, that solution formed is a non aqueous solution okay next is some sol liquids also dissolve in water those liquids are known as miscible liquids like alcohol vinegar etc these dissolve in water that those liquids are known as miscible liquids but some liquids do not dissolve in water these are immiscible liquids like any oil diesel petrol these will not dissolve in water these are immiscible liquids now many gases dissolve in water okay these all uh, dissolving that is uh, in solution form uh, miscible liquids immiscible liquids these are all this dissolution process that is a physical change not a chemical change okay then effect of temperature on solubility of a solute in water now solubility of a solid increases with the increase in temperature okay like for example when we are making tea okay the sugar dissolves faster in hot water when the uh, we take a hot cup of tea no we can dissolve sugar very easily okay but if we take a cold uh, if we take a cup of cold tea then it will be very difficult to dissolve a spoon of sugar in it okay because the solubility of a solid increases with the increase in temperature in the first case it was hot that tea was hot it was high and so forth thus it will uh, uh, very easily dissolve the solid but in the second case when the temperature was low okay that time the solids uh, solubility will decrease okay again solubility of uh, in case of gases it's the opposite with the solubility of gases decreases with the increase in temperature and uh, uh, where, when we increase the temperature the gases will not dissolve uh, that much okay the gases will try to escape from that like uh, when we are boiling water then we will see there are lots of bubbles being forming and the so uh, gases are escaping in from the water okay and therefore the boiled water will have a flat taste okay because uh, the gases are not 
uh, not proper amount of gases or even uh, when we are boiling it very hard then uh, it will they, that will not contain any gases present in it next is practically pressure has no effect on the solubility effect of pressure on solubility first one was effect of temperature on solubility and this one is effect of pressure on solubility practically pressure has no effect of solubility in of the solid in water the solubility of the gases increase with the increase in pressure. if we increase the pressure the solubility of the gases will increase and if we decrease the pressure the solubility of the gases will decrease so carbonated drinks like cold drinks soda water that is under pressure okay and that's why it has dissolved carbon dioxide in it in it okay that is under the carbon dioxide which is dissolved in water that is also under pressure that's why when the pressure is released we will see that the uh, when we open the cap no we will see the liquid flowing out overflowing out of the bottle because the uh, as soon as the pressure is released carbon dioxide which was in the uh, dissolve, which was dissolved in that water that was under pressure that is released suddenly and the, that will come out with that or with the water where, in which it is dissolved okay uh, next is natural water dissolves gases like oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide oxygen dissolved in water is the main source of the survival of marine life okay what is the importance of the gases and minerals which are dissolved in natural water so natural water we know have dissolved oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide so oxygen which is dissolved in water that is very supportive for the survival it's a main source of the survival of the marine life as it helps in the respiration of aquatic life even it also kills this oxygen which is dissolved in water that can also kill some harmful germs and bacteria that can cause diseases okay the harmful germs and bacteria they are very primitive type of animals okay and uh, that can uh, uh, that uh, generally they uh, respire anaerobically that is they do they respire uh, uh, without the presence of oxygen but when oxygen is added they what will do what will uh, they do they will die okay so they this oxygen level in the present in the water that can kill the germs harmful germs and bacteria that can cause diseases okay okay and this oxygen which is dissolved in the uh, this marine life that's why it can support aquatic life aquatic plants and animals which are present in the sea water or in the uh, any uh, water body that uh, will that can breathe through this oxygen present in the uh, water then carbon dioxide which is dissolved in water is used by the submerged aquatic plants the submerged aquatic plants which are uh, present just below the uh, water level uh, or rather inside the water in the water bodies they require photosynthesis i mean they require to manufacture food by photosynthesis for which they require carbon dioxide and so the carbon dioxide which is dissolved in the water that is uh, taken by the uh, aquatic plants inside the water and manufacture food through photosynthesis even carbon dioxide which is dissolved in water that is required by the shell making animals okay like uh, oysters they uh, uh, some marine animals they make uh, shells with these uh, carbon dioxide which is present in the water even the soft drinks bottle they also contain carbon dioxide and the pressure then nitrogen in water converts nitrogenous compound but which is taken by the bacteria and serves as the mode of nourishment to the water plants okay the bacteria which is present inside the water they take up the nitrogen which is dissolved in water forming nitrogenous compound and they provide nourishment to the aquatic plants okay now some of the uh, salts which are dissolved in natural water are needed for proper development of our bodies some mineral salts which are dissolved in the natural water they provide us uh, development of, of our bodies okay and even they add to the taste uh, add taste to the to our drinking water so large amount of salt is dissolved in sea water okay and that can be separated out by physical some physical processes okay like evaporation and all those okay so uh, but this can uh, provide us the sea water can provide us 
the common salt which we take okay and uh, this salt uh, in small amount that can that can uh, add to our ta add the taste to our drinking water even that can provide development to our water bodies uh, to our bodies okay then what do you mean by saturated unsaturated and super saturated solutions <clears throat> A solution which cannot dissolve more of the solute at a given temperature is a saturated solution at that temperature. See, if we, try, uh, if we raise the temperature to a certain level, okay, if the temperature is say uh, 40 degrees centigrade, in that temperature uh, a, solu a solvent can dissolve a certain amount of solute, okay. But if we raise the temperature, it will dissolve more amount of solute. So the temperature is very important. Uh, it's, it's very important to men mention the temperature, which temperature it is uh, saturated or which temperature it become unsaturated. So temperature is very important in this case. Okay. So a solution which cannot dissolve any more of solute at a given temperature, that is a saturated solution at that temperature. A solution, if the temperature is raised beyond that uh, saturated solution temperature, then it will dissolve more of the solute and that time it becomes unsaturated solution at that temperature. Okay. A solution which can hold more of solute at a given temperature than a saturated solution. Okay. See, if it has become saturated at one temperature, we are adding more uh, of the solute in that saturated temperature. It will dissolve for some time. Okay, that times it becomes super saturated solution. This is obtained by heating a saturated solution when its solubility increases. Okay, we heat the solution. The saturation, uh, uh, it becomes unsaturated. We add more of the solute. Again, we heat the temperature, we add more of the solute, it will uh, st start dissolving. But it's certain, uh, uh, a point comes when it will not dissolve anything. That, that becomes a super saturated solution, okay. The maximum amount of solid which will dissolve in 100 grams of water at a given temperature so as to form a saturated solution is known as the solubility of a substance at that temperature, okay. Note, water dissolves different amounts of different solutes at the same temperature. Same temperature, different amount of different solutes it can dissolve. Okay. So, uh, I think I'll stop here. I'll continue with the rest of the chapter in my next video. Please go through this. If you have any doubt, please do write in the comment box. Do share with your friends and uh, colleagues and do press the like button. And you can also give suggestion to improve your videos so that that can help you more in your studies and also do subscribe to get the notification of my next video thank you thank you for watching have a good day